Okay, before I start tensioning the torsion spring, what will happen is as we start to tension it, this garage door is going to try to raise itself up, and we don't want that to happen. So you could either use like C clamps on the rail or put something up here to, to hold the door so it doesn't raise itself up. I'm going to use I'm going to use a, a two by four and some nails. That way when I'm tensioning it, the door will stay put. Now never mind I just hammered those nails in with no eye protection. That wasn't very bright of me. But when you're torsioning the tension spring, I, I'm going to wear some safety goggles. And I got a hard hat laying around, so I'm going to wear that. Remember, safety third. Okay, I got the drill with the quarter inch insert bit in it. I'm going to go ahead and start winding this spring. Now, n note right now, the line is completely across here. There's no, uh, there's no variation. I mean, there is some variation, but it's basically a straight line. And also note, right now, this whole assembly is still pretty loose. And I believe for a 9-foot door, they say to start with like 11 and a half turns. And... That don't mean 11 and a half turns on the screw here. That's not what they're talking about. But I'll show you what they mean here in a minute. Okay, you see right here? There's one, two. That, that's two turns of the spring. One, two. So that's two turns. And we're using this tensioning gadget. You don't want to go nuts on it. I have the drill in, in a low range, and I'm, I'm going kind of fast, but I'm not going crazy with it. Okay, there's three turns. One, two, three. There's four. One, two, three, four. There's five. You see the spring starting to get some tension on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven turns. Now before I get too carried away, I mean, there's still ain't a whole lot of tension on these cables, but it's enough where it's probably starting to get dangerous. So I'm just going to go ahead and look. I'm going to check this. I'm just looking at it, making sure nothing's in a bind. Making sure these cables didn't get stuck around something. And they appear to be okay. So I'm going to keep running tension on these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Count it wrong. Now I'll point out, right now, there's still movement here in this spring. Now don't ask me how I know this, but if you don't measure your relaxed spring width and you put this on and you try to tension this spring with no clearance in between the coils what will happen is you'll jam this spring up and you won't be able to get it any tighter and you'll sit there and you'll have like six or seven turns on it and you won't be able to get it any tighter so you say okay I'm gonna loosen it well you go to loosen it and it won't loosen because there's so much tension 
these coils are sandwiched together and it won't loosen. So definitely make sure you have your you set it to its relaxed length because uh, when I did the other door I, I forgot to do that and tensioning it ended up being uh, it was a mess to say the least. But anyway, we got almost 10 on it now. Okay, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I'm just starting to see the next uh, little marker, so I'll call that eleven and a half. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. I'm going to re remove this two by four up here. Okay. Now I should be able to. There we go. I should be able to raise the door. Now I'm just. I'm not pushing real hard, which is what you want. You don't want it to. When you have the right tension, you don't want the door to go flying up, and you don't want it so you have to put a whole lot of force on it to raise it or lower it. You stay pretty, pretty much just so you can do it with a couple fingers. But they also say you should be able to open up the door about halfway, and it should stay there. Uh, it shouldn't try to go up or try to fall down. And so far, I think the tension on it's pretty good. You know, I just about call that good. Okay, now that I got the tension proper, properly set, I'm going to go ahead and raise this up just enough. And you see this other set screw here. That was the one I was unable to get to before because it was on the back side of the drum and it wasn't accessible. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down now. And go He-Man on it just enough to make it snug, but not not ridiculously tight. And I'm going to go over to the other side and do the same. I'm thinking that's pretty good right there. Tension on it is beautiful. Okay, the north door, which is the one I originally put up, it, when it went up, it was nice and quiet and there was no squeaking or anything. I did notice in the instruction manual, it suggested that if squeaking occurs, putting some lube on these retainers right here. And at the time, I thought, okay, you know, Really, they're not squeaking. What, what different? It ain't gonna make any noise. Well, now I've loosened. I've uh, disconnected the door from the door opener, and you can hear that squeaking. And I thought it was the drum or the bearing or this or that. I thought, you know, I mean, I didn't lube it at all. But I can assure you, it is all these retainers right here squeaking. I mean, that's where all that noise is coming from, and it's loud. So. On the new door that we just put up, even though it's not currently squeaking, I'm probably going to go ahead and put a few drops of oil on both the new door and the old door. Because right now, you know, it's nice and quiet, but give it about a month of operation, and, and for whatever reason, those uh, these plastic retainers, they will be making some noise, apparently. So, that's where we stand right now. Okay, I ran the door up and down several times, and what I was looking for is I'm just making sure that there's no binding, I'm making sure the door's not hitting the rail, I'm making sure 
the cables not hitting the door or the rail. And then these these rollers here, they they're meant to go in and out to take up any uh, variance in the track. And I'm just making sure that at no time that the roller is pushed all the way against the hinge that's binding. <coughs> oh, my allergies are bad today. And I'm also making sure that the the roller is not it's not coming too far out of this bracket, which could lead to a dangerous condition because if this were to come too far out, the door could fall off, and that that would have to be pretty extreme. But um, nevertheless, I did check it, and I'm we're gonna go ahead and, and raise this up, and, and you kind of could see what I'm talking about. I'm just that squeaking, that's those plastic guides. So I need to lube those like it says in the manual. Well, I mean, while these rollers are close to being bottomed out, they're, they're free, they're not, I mean, they're not binding anywhere. So, everything looks pretty good. So I think we're in good shape.